In this short video, we're going to show you how to easily and quickly remove dents from a sheet metal surface. In this case, we're doing it in a 1939 gram. It could just as well be done in a modern vehicle. It will work just as well for unit body. And at certain points, it's about the easiest method you can ever use to remove the dents instead of having to go through contortions to do something that would be very difficult with body hammers and dollies, etc. Stay tuned, we're going to show you how quick and easy this is. In this area of the floor, we happen to have a total of three dents, one of which we've already removed. We've got a dent removed right here where I'm pointing at. We have a dent right here, which is because somebody in the past bolted a muffler clamp to the floor there, which is definitely the wrong way to mount the muffler, and they dented the floor here. The other bad dent, which is by far the worst, is right in this area. And in each case, we want to bring it back up to where the factory had it in the first place. As I said, here we did it, and we have to do it in these two locations. Now, the tools for doing this are things that aren't all that big a deal. You might have them around, and if you don't, you can get a couple of these by running down to Harbor Freight or a hardware store. What you're going to need, we have a 3 8 inch grade 8 bolt. In this case, it's about, oh, an inch and a half long. We have two extra thick washers for it. You don't want the thin ones, you want extra thick ones because you're going to be pulling on the sheet metal. You don't want the washer just to bend. And you're also going to need a grade 8 nut. In addition, we have a drill bit here. Drill bit's about a quarter inch in diameter. We have our cordless drill. And in the cordless drill, we happen to have our very bit. And you're going to need the very bit. Much easier work with sheet metal when you're using a very bit once you've drilled your initial hole. Beyond that, we have our 9 16 inch wrench that we're going to use on our bolt. We have an angle iron. In this case, you'll notice there's a series of holes in the angle iron. This happens to be for an engine hoist. You could just as well make one up if you didn't have one out of a piece of angle iron. It is an eighth of an inch thick, nothing less than that for thickness. You could also use a U-channel. It'll work just as well. Because I'm working alone, I have my nice little uh, magnet so I can pick things up without having to bend over too much. We also have right here our impact gun, which is equipped with a 916 socket. We will be going forward in reverse. You're going to see this is extremely easy to do. And I've even got a stool down here so I can sit down when I'm going to be doing stuff. And let's show you how we go about getting rid of a dent. We'll take our very bit out to start with, and we're going to put in our regular drill bit. Now, we're going to take our angle wire, and we're going to figure out about where we want to have our hole that we're going to drill. The angle iron's purpose is that we're going to pull up against it, and this isn't going to bend, and that sheet metal is going to bend real easy. So we're going to drill a hole, and we notice I see about right here is where I think I want to have a hole. Get this dent. Now I've started it for the mark. We'll come back into it. As we go through the sheet, you see it wants to grab. It's normal. Get through a little bit. Now I'll take our very bit and we'll get that in here. Tighten it up. And we're going to enlarge our hole. Even with the very bit, it's going to take a little effort. Good idea to brush away 
your filings when you're doing that or your chips you made for drilling. And we're going to take one of our heavy washers, put our bolt through. And you do need about this much length because you're going to be pulling a dent and you've got to have enough to work with on the underside. As I sit down, I'm going to put the other heavy washer on the bottom. And I'm going to start my nut on the assembly here. And we're going to adjust our angle iron to where we make best advantage of flat places on the floor. And you should know in this car the floor is crowned, so it's high here, lower down here, and goes flat in this area. But that still leaves us this dent here. Realistically, this is 39 grams, 38, 39, and 40 Spirit of Motion cars, and they're really a little underbuilt in this area. They should have had an extra brace or put in an extra form, but they didn't. So as a consequence, this sort of bend does tend to happen. Now, we've got that all together. We're going to take our 9 16 inch wrench, make sure we're on forward, and we're going to get a wrench down here on the bottom. Now, of course, I'm working blind with the wrench, so it takes a little effort for me to get it all set up. Find a spot where I can hold onto it. Very left-handed for me. And you notice that pulls the entire dent out virtually instantly. So now that's off. I'm going to flip this around to reverse. And take it off. And there you have your dent removed. Now you say, on the other hand, that now I've got a hole. Well, yes, you have a hole, but we're going to show you how to take care of that next. Here we are having done all three holes, one, two, and three. I did this one off camera, and obviously that one off camera. You saw that one done the way the procedure goes. We also have a few other things now so we can continue. Here we have a copper welding spoon. Most of you are not going to have it. You would hold that underneath the hole and MIG weld above it to seal the hole up. But I'm going to do it without it because most of you, as I said, probably won't have one. So I'm going to show you can do it anyway. Or set that aside. Besides that, I obviously have my welding gloves, welding apron on, and I've got welding helmet here. Welder over there, obviously turned on, and I have a piece of sheet metal. That's because we have Graham's data plates are on the back rear floor where we're working, and we are keeping those on the car, so we do not want to damage those. So you notice I'm going to use that just to make sure that they don't get damaged. What we're going to do now is show you that you can MIG weld these holes up even if you don't have a welding spoon to help you, a copper welding spoon. There you see I've welded up one of the holes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a flap wheel in our grinder and we're going to flap wheel that off. If we get a little hole through it, we'll make it some more and do it again. All right, here we have our grinder with a flap wheel in it. This is coarse. It's about 80 grit. I believe it is an 80 grit. And we're going to get rid of our top of our MIG weld.
There you can see we have our hole welded up. There'll be a little bit of depression around it. If this was something that was going to show, we'd use a little body filler and be all done. Yes, it's possible to planish a weld in if you really want to do that. In this case, it's a floor piece that's going to get sound deadening above it. So I'm not going to do anything because the sound deadener is going to cover it up. But there you can see that we can take out dents in the floor particularly, but also other things on the car. Any place to get thin sheet metal with that little method. And as you noticed, I never had to use the copper welding spoon, although it makes it easier. If you don't have it, it's still okay. Always start on the edge, and you notice that I was not continuously welding. Keep turning the welding on and off as with your trigger, which keeps it from getting too hot, and therefore allows the subsequent welds to sort of solidify against each other, making it possible to weld a hole shut even when you don't have a copper spoon, which, as I said, makes it a lot easier. There you have a way to do simple dent repair at home. If you've got a MIG welder and these few other tools, you can do this and you don't have to take it to a body shop. And you can teach yourself how to do it. Practice some sheet metal welding before you try it on the car. Get yourself some sheet metal and you can practice doing this. We hope you enjoyed this little video. And we'll see you later in another episode.